Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today we're going to look at the dog and the forecast for the dog in the year 2024, which is the wood dragon year. Now the wood dragon year is an important year for all those who have the dog in the chart because the dog and the dragon are considered clash animals. Yeah, they don't really get along with each other. So usually people who have the dog in the chart they may undergo a lot of changes in a dragon year. But not to worry, we will figure out what you can do about this and how you can maximize the positive energies in 2024 because there are some. So make use of that and don't be too scared of changes that may be coming. All right. So the first thing you have to do is, as always, you first have to plot your Bowser chart. So you can go to this link here on the screen, and it's also in the description to the video. Just go there and plot your chart and check whether you have the dog anywhere in your natal chart. Now, especially for those of you who are new to Chinese astrology, to Bowser astrology, you may realize that Aside from maybe being born in the year of the dog, there are other animal signs as well that you have in the chart. So here this person is born in the year of the tiger, in the month of the dragon, on the rat day and in the snake hour. So you can have up to four different animal signs in the chart and one of them may be the dog. So even if you're not born in the year of the dog, if you have the dog in the month, the day and or the hour, then this forecast applies to you. Um, now you may have um, double animals, so maybe two dogs in the chart or two ox or two goats or whatever, that's totally normal. So don't be too worried about that. What matters for this particular forecast is whether or not you have the dog anywhere there. Yeah, so this is, really all that matters. Now, in order to make full use of this forecast, you need to check where the dog appears. Is it in the year, the month, the day, or the hour? Because these four aspects relate to different aspects of your life. So if the dog appears in the year, then this forecast relates more to your wider social network, your um maybe your social media friends yeah those that you don't necessarily know personally so wider social network it could also um affect your industry the clients that you're dealing with uh on a in a family um realm we are looking at grandparents or like distant relatives uh distance in the sense of you know far removed but also maybe geographically quite distant um, if you are still going to school or to university, then this indicates or this this reading relates to your school, the school itself, the school environment, the university environment. Yeah. So just like the the most external area of your life, essentially. Now, if it's in a month, then this relates to your career and your immediate work uh, environment. So your the boss that you're reporting to, if you're an employee and the colleagues you are working with. Uh, if you're a business owner, then this is the business itself. Um, it it represents an asset for you. So um, this is this is what matters to you this year. So this this can affect you if you have the dog here. Um, it can also um, represent your friends, your parents, your siblings. And if you're still going to school or studying, then this would be maybe your teachers, um, the people you study with um yeah your classmates essentially if your dog appears in the day then this relates to you personally so your personal life so your relationship with your spouse for example um your boyfriend your girlfriend your health and that could be your your physical health but also your mental and emotional health so overall your well-being if you're working from home then this is also very important because this uh, represents your home business, your home base. And then lastly, if the dog appears in the hour, then this reading relates more to your investments, your uh, aspirations, your dreams, your passions, but also to your children, should you have children. If you don't have children, it can relate to the people who rely on you for support in whatever way yeah it doesn't necessarily just have to be financial support but it also relates to the people who um, really depend on you who rely on you 
and people who are maybe working for you. So your staff, uh, people who are junior than you in your company, your teammates. All right. So take note of where the dog appears and then the reading will apply to this particular aspect of your life. So let's have a look what is in store for the dog in 2024. So we've got one highly, highly auspicious star, which is the National Treasure Star, and then a few inauspicious stars. But most of them are only negative if you are really um, not paying attention to your actions. So this is all reversible. You just need to be a little bit more aware of what you're doing next year. So the National Treasure Star first, this is actually an excellent star if you are looking for a promotion. So let's say you have the dog in your uh, in your month pillar, in your month, you're born in a dog month, then because you're going through a dragon year, this could indicate a massive change in your career. But this doesn't just mean uh, you're going to lose your job. It could mean that you are getting a promotion that you long, long wanted. And then finally, it's going to happen. Maybe a bit uncomfortable because you may be transfer to a different department, or maybe you're finding a completely different job, but something that is better than what you have right now. So a drastic change, yes, but probably something good. Yeah, so not every change is negative. With the National Treasure Star, a promotion is possible. Um, recognition is possible. So you will be rewarded and acknowledged for your efforts. You just have to make sure that you are actually making efforts in 2024. Otherwise, what's there to be acknowledged for, right? Um, now, if you are a business owner, then this particular energy is especially useful if you want to uh, break into a, a niche market or like um, a small community that is not yet served by your competitors because suddenly you are needed and wanted by a smaller community. You get recognition there. And if you're the first one, if you're a pioneer in this niche, in this niche market, then obviously this will get you a lot of recognition, right? So make use of this and ensure that you do something in 2024 that not only you yourself can be proud of, but that other people will also see and recognize you for. Now, because you are being recognized, make sure that you don't do anything shitty because that will also be recognized, yeah? People will also notice that. So please make sure that you uh, thread, a tr thread a little bit carefully in 2024. Now, with respect to the inauspicious stars. So again, um, there are... Uh, most of these stars, they just bring situation where you have to be a bit careful with what you say and with what you do. A leopard tail star or the leopard tail energy is an example, is a great example of that, because essentially it makes you blurt out stuff without thinking. Yeah. And then you offend others without even meaning to. So what you need to do in 2024 is like, keep your emotions in check and make sure that before you say something, think about whether it's the right time to say it um, and also how you say it, right? Because you otherwise you tend to start making people angry and you offend them. And that will bring a lot of obstacles into your life. You may even get into deep shit with your superior if this happens in the month. So if you have the dog in the month, then suddenly you say something that really upsets your boss or your spouse if it's in the day, right? So be, be careful with what you say and how you say it and make sure that you don't unnecessarily offend other people and then you will be okay. Now, the hurdle stars, um, as the name implies, does bring a lot of obstacles, um, but not all of them are actually real. A lot of them are just in your head. And um, usually this brings a sort of attitude where you think of failure first before you do anything. So if you plan to do something and the first thing that comes into your mind is, oh, I'm going to fail in a hundred different ways, then you're probably not even going to uh, try and do what you wanted to do. And this then it becomes an obstacle in your mind. So this has very much to do with your mindset. Uh, and a lot of people 
who have the dog in the chart suffer from this because they immediately think that the year is going to be a terrible year because the dog clashes with the dragon. The year does not absolutely not have to be a terrible year. Yeah, just um, change your mindset and embrace change. So this hurdle stars really ask you to be more mindful of how you think about yourself, your capabilities and um, the stories you tell yourself. If you think of failures first, whatever you're trying to do, um, then you will stop yourself from achieving greatness in 2024. So please observe your self-talk and reframe the self-talk in your mind to be more positive. Mm -hmm. Now, the year breaker is the one that most people are so scared of because that is really um, the energy that is the one that clashes most with the dragon. So this energy brings changes into your life. Now, a change, as I mentioned earlier, doesn't have to be something bad. Imagine that nothing had ever changed in your life. From birth onwards until now, nothing has ever changed. Ever, Everything is still the same. Your life would probably not be as it is right now. And you may actually not be as happy as you are right now. Imagine things never change we would probably still ride in a horse buggy we, we would still not have mobile phones right so change is necessary for us to advance in life and while change is something that um, human nature is generally not super comfortable with it usually brings and uh, it usually means that the end result is something positive so the the way to deal with this energy is to think about what it is that you want to change in your life in 2024. Is there something that you really want to change and that you may have been afraid of changing because it's too difficult or too painful or just, ah, oh, it's there's just too much hassle. Do that in 2024 because changes are anyway coming into your life and you can approach them from two different uh, perspectives. Either you let them happen to you and then you're just a victim of change and you're not likely going to like it. Or you can take control of your life and especially of the changes that are coming. And you can drive it. You can um, be in the driver's seat of that change and adjust your life. So if the, if the dog appears in your day, for example, maybe you always wanted to change your appearance and lose weight. Yeah, this is a great year because this is a drastic change. So you make a drastic change to your lifestyle or maybe you stop smoking. It's a great year for that because a drastic change is being demanded from you. If you're in a relationship, it doesn't mean that the relationship breaks apart. Yeah, that's one of the biggest fears people have is, oh my God, I've got the clash animal in the day. Is my relationship is going, going to fail? That's not necessarily what's going to happen. If your uh, relationship is solid, then maybe you have the opportunity this year to, to really uh, change it from the ground up to make it even better. Connect on a deeper level or maybe just change something up um, that bothers you a little bit, um, that bothers you about yourself within the relationship. Just have a talk and improve the relationship so that could be a change as well right now if it's in a month of course you know that relates to your career is there something that you want to change in your career uh then make that happen don't let the change happen to you really really take initiative think about what is it that i want to change what is it that i'm not happy with it, with my life and then you be the driver Okay, so take responsibility of whatever you're doing this year and embrace whatever is coming to you because ultimately it's good for you. And then lastly, we've got the greater consumer. So this brings usually expenses and money outflow, even the possibility of breaking your bank account because you haven't made a budget and you're just spending willy nilly. So again, before 2024 starts, on February 4th, 2024, make a budget for the year. And then really stick to the budget because making a budget is one thing, that's fairly easy, but then sticking to it is a whole different story. So you actually need to stick to that budget and ensure that your cash outflow, um, if it does happen, is not affecting you too badly. 
Now, it depends also on what you spend money on. Yeah, if you're just spending it on, on uh, buying things that you don't necessarily need, like a really expensive handbag or a really expensive pair of shoes or a car or whatever, yeah, then that may really um, affect your bank account. But maybe spend it on something that is good for you. So again, that goes hand in hand with the year breaker. What do you want to change in your life? Maybe you want to start a new education. You want to learn something, do some self-improvement. And that may mean that you have to spend money on yourself. So essentially, yes, money is outflowing, but it will have a return on investment. Um, if you're a business owner and you're spending a lot of money on your own business, again, that's something that is justifiable. It's more the money uh, or the expenses that really have no return on investment that could bite you in the ass with the greater consumer. So be careful with that. All right. So that's the outlook for the dog in 2024. Again, make the most of this and do what, what you always wanted to change in your life. Just do that in 2024 and it will be a good year for you. All right. So again, as always, if you do have any questions, put them in the comments below or contact me directly. Uh, my email address is in the description to the video. And I'd really appreciate it if you share this video out with anybody you know. If you hit the subscribe button, you don't want to miss out on the next few animal signs that are coming up. And also we've got more um, wealth manifestations that are coming up in the next few weeks. So don't miss out on that. I post three times a week and I would love to see you here. And until then, thank you very much. And I see you soon.